out, picking up your phone. Anyway, uh, I have it. If you want it, you know where to meet me. Say the pier, 5 p.m. Maybe a little earlier, but I'll be there. This doesn't feel right, but it's what's got to be done, man. Not my place to argue. Anyway, uh, drop me a text. See you soon. I have sinned, Father. I have sinned for as long as I can remember. This is my first ever confession. Speak, my son. I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say. I'm a married man, Father. I've indulged in the bodies of other women for some time now. Can you hear me, Father? Yes. Yes, I heard you. I'm sorry. How long have you been fulfilling this need? Eighteen years. And your most recent encounter? I'm not sure. Two, maybe three years. So you're showing the desire to give up on this need, giving such a long hiatus. <laughs> Something amuses you, my son? I'm sorry. It's just I don't believe in all this stuff. My wife does. And I... I thought I'd be doing good by her. My wife, she's dying, Father. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. And don't worry, I, I'm not going to go on some tirade and start cursing God. Many do. So you're seeking God's forgiveness while you still have time? I don't need God's forgiveness. I need hers. Then you must confide in her. She's in a coma. She hasn't moved, hasn't said anything in weeks. She's a fucking vegetable. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. If you don't seek forgiveness, why did you come here today? To be honest, uh, I was seeking punishment. Tell me, Father. How much can I really tell you in here? You can tell me anything under God's watch, my son. Anything. And I won't go any further. I'm burning your soul and confessing your sin is a very sacred trust. Then, Father, can you absolve me of a very special sin? Tell me. It's a sin I, I have yet to commit. It's to end her suffering. I can't do that. Why? My son, your lady needs your support to live, not a catalyst to die. If you could only see her father. She's so weak, she can hardly breathe. I can't stand to see her like that anymore. Invite me to pray for her. Could you provide the last rites, Father? If you don't want forgiveness, my son, go home and provide your lady with love and care. And if these truly are her last days, she'll need it now more than ever. This chain of thought is punishment enough. Is it? See, I go through with it anyway. What's the standard sentence for euthanasia? Ten, maybe fifteen years, I assume. Fifteen years. For eighteen years sin. Doesn't seem fair. What if I drop by for my confession, the other confession, I mean, and ask for forgiveness? What would you say? I would mourn the way she lost.
breathing returned to normal today. Less pauses and more consistent. Do you think that's a sign of recovery? I didn't think so. I started reading to her last night. I'm not sure why I waited so long. Do you think she's listening? She can hear you. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure she can hear me, but I'm not so sure about the listening part. So you here for the long haul tonight? Me? No. I need to go to Mr. Friday's dementia watch. I could come back later tonight, though, if you need me to. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'll manage. You sure? I'll be fine. Okay. You take care. Why am I still alive? Can you hear me? I'm gonna just sit there while I lie here in pain. This isn't real. I was always good to you, wasn't I? We had our ups and downs, but who doesn't? I was always there for you. Tell me, when you look at me, what do you see most? Your wife or regret? Both. Your Weak. I'm not weak. Oh, of course not. I only had to hide my life of fucking other women for 18 years. It only took a bit of cancer to make me realise the error of my ways. Shut up! Even then, I only took the courage to talk about it after she was gone. Shut up! Do the right thing and just kill me! Be quiet. Kill me! You're early. You let me off early. I thought I'd come back and make up some time. Like, what is this? Muscle relaxants. Potassium chloride. What have you done? I, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do what? I need your help. 
I, I can't do this myself. You know what has to be done? Wait a minute. It's the right thing to do. The right thing? It's murder. How could you even think of doing something like this? You know as well as me. She ain't getting any better. You said she can hear, right? Well, she can hear, she can feel. And if she can feel... Well, she's suffering on the inside. Stop. Just stop. Shut up for a minute. Listen, you've been drinking. You're not thinking straight. Go to bed. Wake up in the morning and think about what you've been saying tonight. Or even better yet, forget it altogether. Listen, I feel your pain, man, I really do. I deal with people like this on a daily basis. Give me the drugs. You're gonna help me, or you're gonna leave? I'm not gonna help you. I'll see I go ahead with it anyway. You'll go to prison. I want to go to prison. I deserve it. But it'd be a real shame for you to come with me. That won't happen. Oh, come on. Can you really prove the reason you didn't come back here tonight was to help me kill my wife? Nobody's going to believe that. You received a text telling you to come over here. And just like that, you were here. I'm not a villain. I'm just trying to do right by my wife. I know exactly what you're doing, and you won't get away with it. The police will be here before you're finished. Like, I feel sorry for you, I really do. But I can't be a part of this. I've been thinking about this for a while, how to go about it. I was too much of a coward to tell you when you were conscious. And now it's, it's too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being the man I should have been. I'm sorry for not noticing that I wasn't being the man I should have been. But I'm sorry I disrespected the way you lived your life. I'm, so I'm sorry I couldn't give you a child. You deserved one. You would have been a great mum. Even a shite, Dad. I went to church today. I thought you'd like to know that. I couldn't accept their forgiveness, but I needed yours, honey. Please, if you're there, if you can hear me, please give me a sign. Say something, anything. No, oh, please, honey. I'm so sorry.
Danke für mich, ihr Töne. I remember when my wife first asked me, do you believe in God? I responded by saying, is there an elephant outside our front door? She never understood what I meant by that. I don't personally believe in that stuff. But if you were to ask me if God truly exists, I would simply say, I don't know. But nobody asks. Does he exist? I don't know. The same way I don't know if there's an elephant outside my front door, unless I see it with my own two eyes. Though I believe there's a possibility. All I know is that something happened that night. I don't know what, but I doubt it's more than just a lucky coincidence. A rare second chance. A little more time to wrap it all up the right way. She never did forgive me. Can't say I blame her. The thing people forget about doubt though is that it means both sides are still possible. Do I believe in divine intervention? No. But an off chance that I'm wrong and he is listening? Thanks fella. Thank you.